Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S2, 9.7 inch. It has 3 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of ROM, and you can expand the external memory uh, with a micro SD card up to 128 gigabytes, which I have done. I wanted to start getting into learning about Bluetooth and Arduino, and from what I've read, the book suggests, I've decided to go with an Android device. Uh, the books seem to be geared toward either Android or iOS. And I guess it can become a little bit involved uh, if you just use uh, a USB uh, adapter, a Bluetooth adapter, like something like this. Uh, if you've got an op X XP operating system or Windows 7, um, Although, if you look at the back of this, it says Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8. So, instead of going the, sm the smartphone route, I just have a flip phone. Uh, I recently saw an article on people getting rid of their smartphones uh, because they're overwhelmed, I guess, with social media. And I think they're calling these like dumb phones now. But, yeah, I decided to go with an Android device. I like the fact that... Uh, I can experiment with all the sensors that you usually get uh, with an Android platform. I know that the smartphones, I think, might have a little bit more, a couple of more sensors than uh, what I have here. But this here has an accelerometer, fingerprint sensor, gyro sensor, geomagnetic sensor, hall sensor, and an RGB sensor. So it would be interesting to try to have those interact uh, with an Arduino. So this is what you get. I've already had this out. It, when they ship it, it's probably, you know, a federal regulation. They ship it uncharged. So it took about three hours to get a full charge on this. So it comes with this uh, protective cover here. Um, and this is it. It's just the uh, power adapter and a USB cable here. I was wondering what this was. This is a key that you use to uh, push into a hole that uh, opens up the compartment where you put in the SD card. So that's for having access to uh, where you insert the slot for the, for the external memory. So let's take a look. It has a uh, front camera and a rear camera. Really nice sleek looking. Two buttons there. You hold the on button or the on off button for a couple of seconds to turn it on. There's a fingerprint sensor here and then I guess that's scroll back to where you originally were. You can close apps. So this is all new to me. It's nice, new tactile feel. I mean, it's this is really lightweight. 13.72 uh, ounces. It has Lollipop 5.1. So now I get to uh, know what they're talking about with all these versions of Android operating system that you hear about. So let's turn it on. So originally I had this set up with a thumbprint, but uh, I thought it was natural just to go ahead and, and hold it like this. Oh, I, did I leave that in there? I guess I, I thought I canceled the thumbprint and went with the uh, fingerprint, the uh, index finger here. But And this is new to me. I've always seen people doing this and I thought that was the coolest thing. So you've got all these apps here. And I already had to figure out how to go in and figure out um, how to set up my Amazon apps so that I have access to Amazon uh, Prime Video. So I've got these three apps here that you need. Uh, you need this App Store app, and this Amazon Shopping Cart app here, and then here's the uh, video. So I have my Wi-Fi on. 
and you can see there all the sci-fi videos so to go back you just hit that go back to the apps and again if we go over the specs on this it's uh, Android 5.1 lollipop like I said 13.72 ounces um, 9.7 inch screen uh, the front camera is 1.2 megapixels and the rear camera is 8 megapixels and the screen resolution uh, well recording resolution 2560 by 1440 but the uh, main display resolution is 2048 by 1536 The uh, battery is a 5,870 milliamp hour uh, battery. Uh, it's up to 109 hours of music play, 12 hours of video time, 8 hours of internet usage. And the internal memory again is 8 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of ROM, and expandable to 128 there's a little side door right here. You poke that key in to open up this door to insert your micro SD card. Now the neat feature is I like this here. Well, there it goes. Well, I guess I'm not doing it right. There it goes. And it has Wi Fi, a USB version 2.0, Bluetooth version 4.1. It has location technology. It has a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack somewhere. I guess it's right down here on the edge and there's stereo speakers here now the processor is the octa-core 1.9 gigahertz quad plus 1.3 gigahertz quad uh, Zynos I don't know how you pronounce that EXYNOS Display again is 2048 by 1536. Uh, it's QXGA Super OMOLED technology. Audio streaming, music player, and the video resolution UHD 4K 3840 by 2160 at 30 frames per second. And again, the sensors, fingerprint sensor, gyro sensor, geomagnetic sensor, hall sensor, RGB sensor. And in the box, you get travel adapter, micro USB cable, quick start guide, and health and safety guide, which I'm not certain how you'd hurt yourself with this. Hitting yourself over the head, maybe. And they're making uh, learning about Android development a little bit easier with the new Android Studio. I know there was like NetBean and then Eclipse, but now they have this uh, one package that you install uh, on your PC to get your uh, environment up and running uh, for learning about programming Android and producing some Android apps. I've already uh, gone through some of it and built the obligatory hello world but the Android version so here's one of those really exciting hello world another added benefit you get with the Samsung Galaxy is you you get Word Excel and PowerPoint let's see we got Microsoft apps here OneNote Skype OneDrive And just on a side note, I bought this, uh, I think it's called a smart shell. It has a little 
cut out here for the rear camera so the rear camera is not blocked and it just snaps in. I think this is a must have for your tablet. And also uh, this is a fingerprint magnet so it's probably a good idea to have some some of these cloths here to keep the surface fingerprint free. So if you found this video interesting, feel free to subscribe, like, and or comment. And thanks for watching.